Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're going to be doing a Sephora haul. Sephora recently had their VIB sale, so of course I had to take advantage and I purchased a few new things. And yeah, today I'm just going to show you guys what I purchased. So I have this huge bag here of all the items that I got. I did go two different times, so I did not get everything all at once. Um, but I did get a lot of things that I have been eyeing for a little while and things that I do want to try. So let's just get started. I'm just going to start digging into this box. Also, if you can see right here, I already have my Christmas tree up. Let me know, am I the only crazy one? Or do you guys also have your Christmas tree up? Well, anyways, so let's get started. So first thing that I got was this Glam Glow Gentle Bubble Daily Conditioning Cleanser. I tried this before a few months ago and I loved it and then I stopped using it and my face has been breaking out a little bit lately so I was like you know what let me go back to it let's see if it works for me again if I still love it so this is what the packaging of it looks like and this is what the bottle looks like it's so pretty I'll insert a little card right here of the prices of all the items in case you guys are wondering. I did get these during the VIP sale which only happens two times a year and I, it's over for now so you would have to get a regular price but if you want to wait until the next VIP sale then you can get it at a discounted price. The next item that we have here is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist. This is a repurchase. I love, love, love this mist. Now, I know that this item, you are supposed to use it. It's kind of like a skincare item. But I love to use it before my makeup and after my makeup. It gives you the most perfect glow. It's beautiful. If I could just get it open. This is what she looks like. I absolutely love this stuff. That's why I repurchased it. And it smells so good. This, I didn't need this right now, but honestly, I'm a sucker for packaging and the packaging just got to me. So this is the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. It's the one that I always use in pretty much every single video every time i do my makeup on and off camera and i just had to get it because the packaging is so cute and i've been wanting to try this little sponge that everyone's talking about and it came in a pack for a great value so i was like you know what i have to get it so it does come with the little sponge as well as the powder this powder is one of my favorite powders ever i've tried so many different ones and honestly i have tried some from the drugstore too just to see you know if i can maybe save some coins but girl if you have not tried this powder you need it oh my god this is so pretty the lid is like a rose gold color this is so cute I think it's just like a holiday edition one, but if you can still get your hands on it, get it. The packaging alone is so cute. I just want to place it on my vanity. But yeah, like I was saying, this powder is amazing. It does not give you any flashback, and it's just amazing. I love it. Okay, I'm literally just digging in the box and taking stuff out. So Also, a lot of these things that I got are items that I've never tried before, so be on the lookout for a trying new makeup video or like a testing new makeup video i'll probably do that sometime next week and i know i know i know i'm sorry i've been slacking i owe you guys the amazon favorites video i am so sorry but i'm actually gonna film that probably today don't kill me don't kill me don't kill me i know i know i said it in my last video and then it's been like a month since i posted but i got you guys so this next product it's a new product that I've never tried before but I saw it on the website and I was like it's on sale why not so this is the Biosense squalene and hyaluronic toning mist it says mist tones hydrates and balances skin this is for all skin types and I believe yeah clean conscious and high performance I believe this is a Well, it doesn't say it, but I... Oh, yeah, it is. It's a vegan brand, so... Oh, 
plant-derived squalene. <sighs> okay, that was a little harsh to open. It honestly just smells like... It smells like a skincare product. I don't really know how to put a scent to it, but... I'll be testing this out and letting you guys know how it is. Next, I have the Belief... The True Cream Aqua Balm. This is also another product that I used to use all the time before. I have repurchased it so many times. And for some reason, I just stopped using it. But it was on sale, so I was like, I have to repurchase it. This is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite face moisturizers. When you apply this to your skin, it literally feels like your skin just took a drink of water. A drink of water. A drink of water. It, it feels like I took a sip of water, girl. And this one is actually the Aqua Bomb one. I believe they have, this one's like a gel consistency. I believe they have another one that's more like a lotion. But I love this one. They also sell it in a mini version if you guys want to give it a try first. I got this little mini sample, which I thought was so cute because it's a beauty blender sample. So it's a tiny little beauty blender and then they even bring you the water on top so you can wet it. I thought this was super cute. The next sample that I got was the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Foundation. I've been wanting to try the actual Matte Velvet Skin one, but... I don't know, I used to love their stick foundation that they had and I just haven't used it in so long. But I'm gonna give this a try just because it, it was a free sample, so why not, right? Next, I got the Wishful Yo Glow Enzyme Scrub. I thought I had gotten the full size of this, but I guess I got the mini version of it. Uh, this is supposed to be kind of like a face peel, so you apply it and any dead skin that you have is supposed to come off. I've watched a few videos of girls using this and oh my god literally it's like their skin looks like it's coming right off so i cannot wait to try this i might try this today after i take this off it says pineapple enzyme papaya enzyme aha and bha i can't wait to try everything so i honestly probably i'm gonna see that after every product oh my god next this i was Okay, so I actually went to Sephora in-store and I saw this and I was going to purchase it and I was like, you know what? No, I'm not going to purchase it. Girl, I came right home and placed an order online. Who was I kidding? I don't know why I didn't just grab it when I was in-store, but I had to place an order for it because I heard that this is mask-proof, mask-proof, but I have yet to try it, so I'm going to I'm going to probably test it out. See if it really, really, really is mask proof. And if it is, that's amazing. Especially for now that we have to wear a mask all the time everywhere that we go. So I'm definitely going to try this out. Let's see. Mmm, that smells like baby powder. Wow, I'm, I'm literally going to have like 50 different sprays on my face after this, but... It says no melting, no fading, no creasing. Primes and sets for up to 16 hours. Oh, so you can use this as a primer as well. That's good to know. I'm gonna be probably doing a wear test video on this. Next we have, I am so excited for this. We have the Patrick Ta Dewy Milk Mist Major Glow. I don't know why I got so many setting sprays, but this one was, when I saw this packaging, girl, I couldn't resist. Look at how beautiful this is. This is the most luxurious packaging I've ever had. I swear, this is so beautiful. I do not even want to use it. Mmm. I kind of don't like the smell of it, but... Next, we have another little sample. This is the Kiehl's Vital Skin Strengthening Super Serum. It's a little mini one. It's so cute. It says, fortify skin to help resist anti-aging sen... I mean, sensors, huh? Anti-aging stressors while boosting radiance and improving texture. 
Girl, when they offer you samples, I say yes to everything. I don't care. Next, we have a little sample of Chanel Gabrielle. I don't know if you guys care to see the samples, but I always love to see what kind of samples they have to give out at Sephora, so I just felt like I should include them. I'm very picky with perfumes. I usually only like um, Daisy by Marc Jacobs. Oh, yeah, this smells too strong for me. Don't like that. Next, I got the Rare Beauty Always an Optimist Base. Uh, this is their primer. So it's an illuminating primer. I think I got the mini version. I'm not sure. I don't remember. Yeah, I got the mini version. So this is supposed to be an illuminating primer. It says a weightless universe gel primer enriched with ultra fine pearls for a lit from within glow. Oh, I also had never picked up my birthday gift. So I got this cute little Brazilian bum bum cream. The yellow one smells amazing. I love it. I used to purchase it all the time. I actually think I still have a few in my makeup drawer, but they're probably way too old and I should throw them out. So this smells like, I don't know. It just smells like, like you're at the beach. I love it. I love it. I love it. And it also came with the little Coco one. Coco Cabana Cream. This one I've never tried before. I kind of don't like the smell. I'm not a big fan of coconut. But it was a free little birthday gift. So I'm not going to say no. I also got the Best of Rare Beauty. I didn't know it was going to be a mini super tiny little set. I thought it was supposed to be like a regular set when I purchased it online. I ordered this online with the Charlotte Tilbury, but it's fine because I've never tried them. So if I like them, I'll repurchase the big size. Okay, so it comes with the little mini blush in the shade Bliss. It's a cream blush. Let's watch it. It's a pretty color. It seems a little bit watery. That is what it looks like. I'm not even sure if you guys can see the right color. Then we have the lipstick in Thankful. Oh, it's I think it's more like a lip balm. That's the lipstick underneath. I'll be trying these. I wonder, would you guys like me to do a Rare Beauty? I mean, I know it's kind of late because everyone has already done the testing out Rare Beauty products, but... I just got mine, so I might do a video since I do have the primer, the cheek, the lip, and I also have, well, I'll get to it. I have more Rare Beauty stuff in there, but I'll get to it. Um, I got the Charlotte's Magic Serum Crystal Elixir. Uh, this is supposed to be like a glowy serum. Again, I got the mini version because this stuff was expensive. I've never tried it before, so I'd rather try the mini size. And then I'll try the big size if I end up liking this. I didn't realize I got this much stuff. This is crazy. I don't even need all this stuff. But I'm the kind of person that if I see a sale, I have to get it. And that is very bad of me. But when I see a sale, I get suckered into them. Next, this is a repurchase that I have purchased over and over and over again and it has to be one of my absolute favorite favorite setting sprays this is the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist I did get the mini version of it because I purchased so many other setting sprays that I'm like okay I need to chill because this stuff is expensive girl this little tiny bottle right here is $20 and the big full size I believe it's about 50 something maybe around there but Oh, I love, 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 love this. This will leave you looking dewy, but like it looks like it's a dew from within. It's the most beautiful setting spray or mist or whatever it is that I have ever, ever, ever tried. So if you get anything from what I got today, I would definitely recommend the Tatcha Dewy Skin Mist. Love it. All right, we're almost done. Next, I got... Oh, I did get the Rare Beauty Concealer as well. You see, I'm going to have to do a video because I literally have almost everything from the line. Um, I got the concealer because I did hear a lot of good things about it. I think it was... I love Sarai that said that this is like her favorite concealer now. So I was like, I got to try it. I hope the shade I got is not too light. 
I got it in the shade 230N. Guys, please don't mind my nails. I need to get them done. I bought all the stuff to do them myself, but I don't know if I trust myself to do them. But they're looking a bit crazy right now. Please don't mind them. I also did get the Rare Beauty Foundation. I heard amazing things about this. So, and I've been looking for a new foundation because I always use the same foundation. Even though I have so many, I feel like I always go back to my Fenty, um, not the matte one, the natural finish one or whatever. I forgot what it's called right now, but I always, always, always go back to my Fenty one. So I was like, you know what? I need to try a new one. I did hear Juicy Jazz saying that every time you use this, you have to remember to shake it up because if not... It does not look the same. I got this in 230N too. Why did I get... Why would I get the concealer and the foundation in the same shade? Why would I do that? But anyways, there is... it. You can see a big difference. So maybe they just have the same shade name, but they're different. I don't know why I would do that. But anyways, hopefully, I'm hoping these two match. Because I really, really, really want to try them. Alright, just two more things and we're done. I did decide to pick up the Makeup by Mario uh, liquid liner. I went to the Sephora store super excited because I was like, Makeup by Mario? Like, I have to try his line, like his new makeup line. But when I got there and I was looking at all the stuff, to be honest, nothing was really catching my eye. Like, there was like a little quad... No, it wasn't a quad. It was, yeah, it was a quad. It was like an eye priming quad or whatever. It wasn't catching my eye because I honestly always just use concealer or the P. Louise base on my eyes if I'm doing like a dramatic eye look. And I don't know, it was just like a little concealer pad. Didn't catch my eye. And the Master Matte palette, I love the colors, but I feel like I have those colors in so many other palettes. So I was like, you know what? I'm not going to get it yet. I'm going to use all the stuff that I got now because I obviously went ham. And eventually, if I get suckered into it, I'll buy it. I'm going to be honest. I did watch a lot, a lot, a lot of review videos on them. And everyone is loving it. So it's making me want to get it. But I'm going to hold off on it for now because I have way too much stuff already. But I did pick up the liquid liner because it looked... So freaking amazing and it's supposed to dry down matte and I never really wear eyeliner but I was like you know what I have to try it this is what it looks like so it's super super black which I love in a liner so I'll be testing this out and hopefully which I don't doubt it because I mean come on it's Mario like he is like the best of the best. Uh, so I don't doubt it, but you know, can't wait to try it. The last thing that I got, this was a little bit of a splurge. I have been wanting this for a while, but I always feel like I didn't need it because I have other powders like it. My camera decided to die, of course, nothing new. So I don't remember where I left off, but I was talking about the Charlotte Tilbury pal um, palette. What am I saying? I was talking about the Charlotte Tilbury powder and I have been eyeing this product for so long, but I always use my Bare Minerals one. So I was like, do I really need it? But girl, if I could get it on a sale, I'm gonna get it. So look at this packaging this is so pretty it's just a face powder but i know that everyone that i've seen using this loves it i got it in the shade medium heard great things about this so i cannot wait to start using it i actually wanted to use it today when I was doing my makeup, but I was like, you know what? I'm gonna wait because I wanna show it to them first while it's like nice and clean. But I am for sure going to test it out like the next time that I do my makeup. But yeah, I cannot wait to try all of my new products. I am so in love with basically everything that I got. I don't think, I'm trying to look down to see what I got, but I think I'm going to love everything that I got, hopefully. 
So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching it. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did like the video. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below letting me know what stuff you guys got during the Sephora sale. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can watch all the other videos that I'll be making. And if you have any video recommendations, please leave them down below because sometimes I really don't know what to record. Like I, I'm still new to this thing, so I really don't know what you guys would like to see. And if you guys would comment it down below, let me know what you guys would like to see. It would really help me out a lot. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and see you guys in my next one. Bye.